Hello guys, Josh here, welcome back to the channel, hope you're all doing alright. So today we're going to be doing some mods to the PC and kind of making it look a lot different from how it is now. I'll kind of explain for you guys. Um, I had these come in the post yesterday, these are the Antec uh, Prism fans. And they're actually RGB on both sides, so they have like halo rings. And uh, what we're basically going to be doing, I'll show you guys. At the moment I'm running a front intake on the Lian Lee PC-011 Dynamic. Um, from the front it looks great but like from where I'm sat over here you can never see like the fans at the front because of the way that the um, acrylic is kind of cut. So we're going to be doing a lot of mods today. We're going to be switching out this for the front glass panel again and then we're actually going to be getting rid of this light box um, and we're going to be having three intakes at the bottom. That explains why I've got the Antec dual RGB fans because they'll still have some cool halo rings even though they're technically mounted backwards. Um, then we're going to be doing a side exhaust because on the Lian Lee case the side exhaust just looks amazing and again I kind of miss not seeing those really nice fans uh, down the side there. So we'll be doing a side exhaust um, and then for the top I'm not sure whether to do a top exhaust or a top intake. I'll probably end up doing a top intake so that we've um, not got negative pressure in the case. So that's the plan. We've got the new fans over here, which I'll be unboxing in just a moment. So yeah, let's see what they're like. Cool, so we've got the fans here. Let's get them unboxed. So yeah, these are 120 millimeter fans. Uh, there should be three of them in here. There's like five boxes. So I'm guessing a couple of them will be like the control box and things like that. There we go, five boxes. Um, as you can see on here, it actually tells us what each box is. Um, show you guys. There you go, so you've got, uh, we actually get two LED strips, which I've totally forgot about when I ordered these, but um, yeah, you get two addressable RGB strips, which, which we'll be able to put in the case, so that's quite cool. Uh, we've got the fan control box, and then the rest are the fans. Uh, let's have a quick look at the fans, see what they're like. I'll just open one of them for now. By the way, guys, unrelated note, but I will be filming the first episode of uh, Set Up Paradise this weekend. I've just, with everything been going on, I've not really felt that motivated. Um, but yeah, I'm feeling much better now, so I'll get that recorded and then it should be up sometime next week So stay tuned for that. Uh, cool. This is the fan then so that's what it looks like from the front side um, Like I said the reason I ordered these is because they have RGB on both sides and I like how the center is black as well because some of the new fans like Corsair do some new uh, double-sided fans, but they have lights in the middle as well and like the fan blades are white, but I just don't think, they, they look so ugly when they're backwards. So I think the less of the middle that you can see, the better. So yeah, we've got the nice halo rings going on there. Um, so they should look quite good. Uh, let's open the control box next, wherever that is here. Okay, there we go. Right, fan control box then. So we've got a couple of cables in there for connecting it up to your motherboard if you want to. Uh, that's the control box. Um, I believe it has built-in effects. So I'll probably just leave it on like, RGB like rainbow to be honest um, you can hook it up to the motherboard as well So I might try that uh, But yeah, that's that and then let's have a quick look at the LED strips you get two of these I think they're about like 30 centimeters each so Yeah, you can see in there. It's just an addressable RGB strip uh, So we'll probably put them we'll probably put one at the top and then maybe one um, along the inside i don't really know yet we'll probably find out but yeah that is everything obviously we've got two more fans i'll unbox those in a second uh, but yeah let's go grab the pc and then we can rip everything out of it honestly guys every time i have to do something to the pc i have to go underneath there go around the back take out like the billion cables that are plugged into it and then uh, yeah carry it across to the table over there so um let's do that So I think the way we're going to do this is we're going to remove this vertical GPU mount first of all, get that out of the way. Um, that will then give us access to the bottom here so that we can remove this and install the new fans. Um, I think as well I may have to take the, the GPU mount up by one slot right there because I don't think there's going to be enough clearance for the fans. Um, I did have a mate who did the exact same thing with um, bottom intake and this exact mount and it worked out fine in the end so I know it works definitely. but. Um, We'll just have to do that. Uh, we've got to remove a few screws out the front of this uh, front intake 
and then take that out. We've got fans attached to that at the moment as well. Uh, and then we've got the three fans there. Um, I wasn't actually using these, by the way, if you was wondering. I did put them in as an intake, but um, that was when I did the front panel mod. But anyway, when I had them turned on, they were making weird noises, so I just unplugged them. So that's why they're there, not really doing anything. So yeah, we'll take them out. And then the top, we've got to switch those round, I believe, to make it a, f a top intake. So we'll go and start doing that now. Uh, you probably can't see it, but this cable over here, like down there, is the uh, cable from this thing. So we'll grab that out and then we should be able to pull it through and then remove this. Actually guys, change of plan, I'm gonna take the fans out first because I don't think I'm gonna be able to pull this out um, with these over here. I've got a better screwdriver now, the other one was rubbish. I should be doing a new PC build next month, guys. Um, I've just got to finish ordering the parts. It's gonna be like a, I don't know, kind of like mid-range PC. Um, I've got the Deep Cool Macube or Marcube 310 case to build in. Um, so yeah, it's gonna be kind of like a mid-sized, mid, -sized, mid budget build. Uh, so that should be exciting. Yeah, these were the fans that actually came with the Castle 360 EX cooler. Um, they're pretty good fans actually, they're low profile, but um, I won't be using them on this build for now. I'll probably be using them in the new build. Front fans are actually just bolted to, well, they're just screwed into uh, this frame from the other side. So once we've taken them out, we should be able to get the light box out. It is gonna be a bit of a shame to see this thing go because it does look awesome. But um, if we're gonna be returning to side exhaust and top intake again, we definitely need some more airflow. And I think it will look cool with nine fans anyway. So yeah, we'll get that uh, taken out. And then this front panel mod is actually just attached with some like Allen key bolts. So I'll have to grab an Allen key for them. And then we can start installing all the new fans. So yeah, I did enjoy having the front intake mod, but um, I think just for this case, and at the angle that I had it sat on the desk, it just wasn't, it just didn't look as cool. Um, mostly because like I said, you can't really see the RGB fans when you sat at an angle, you have to be sat like dead on for it to look cool. Uh, so that's the bottom fan out, pop that over there. That's all three fans off of there. We should just be able to pull this thing out now. I do remember it was a little bit of a pain to get in just because of the motherboard being there. Um, but if we're gentle, there we go, should just be able to lift it out. It's actually two pieces. It has a piece of acrylic on the top. Um, it's like a diffuser section. And then that will probably be the best way to take it out actually, because this is a little bit more flexible. There we go. So yeah, that's the diffuser piece that just sits on the top. And then we have the actual LED thing here, which we should hopefully just be able to slip out. And that's that. That's what it looks like, by the way, guys, underneath. It's kind of just like LEDs uh, glued into there, and then you've got like a diffusion panel. But yeah, I do love this thing. It looks cool. Right, we'll take the front panel off next then. By the way, if you're wondering where I got the front panel mod from and the uh, light box for the bottom of the case. It's from a company called Cold Zero International uh, Which they make like GPU backplate back plates and custom things like that uh, But yeah, they have some really cool stuff. So definitely check them out um, I originally bought the light box from them and then uh, I had a chat with the owner who is very cool and he said he'd send me out the front intake mod And there we go, that's that all done. So that comes off of there and that comes out like that. Yeah, part of me is tempted, guys, to actually leave these as an exhaust just because the fans look so cool round this way. Uh, but yeah, if we did, that would mean we'd have three intake and six exhaust, which is obviously going to be negative air pressure inside the case, which will suck dust in. Um, it's kind of debated whether it actually makes a lot of difference, but generally it's accepted that you should have um, positive pressure. So probably going to end up having to switch these round. We're gonna reinstall the Corsair LL120s now, so it's gonna be a side exhaust. So just need to make sure I get them all the right way up this time, because last time I, well, when I first did the build, I managed to put one of them upside down, and then when it was doing the sequential effects in the software, it all looked wrong. All good. 
Right, just show you guys where we're at. So we've installed the side exhaust fans, they're all good now. Uh, we still need to swap these over to make them uh, top intake. And then we need to install the fans at the bottom. So these are the new fans right here. We're gonna be having them this way up as intake. So yeah, we'll get all these attached. Bottom intake's looking pretty good. So as you can see, we've got the halo rings here. So when the PC is like all dark and then you've got these turned on, they should look pretty awesome. Uh, so I just need to pull through the rest of these cables because I've poked them through, but I need to pick up the PC so I can yank them through the other side. I've just removed the radiator. I think what I'm gonna be doing with this guys is, uh, well, before it was like this and the pipe was kind of in the way of the GPU, because uh, obviously we've got that vertical mount. So I think what I'll probably do is have it round this way. I couldn't have it this way before because this uh, was kind of smashing into the fans at the front. Uh, but yeah, we'll have it like that, and then I'll just reverse these fans so they're intake. Right, I've plugged everything in now guys, so it should be all ready to go. Uh, it took quite a bit longer than I thought, just because there's so many cables, like, I've got nine fans now, and there's two cables running off every single fan, and obviously we have an RGB controller for these, an RGB controller for the Corsair fans, an RGB controller for this as well, it's just pretty crazy back there, so it took quite a while. But that's all good now. Last thing to do is just to install the vertical GPU mount, which, like I said, I've got a mate who runs this, uh, in this setup and it works fine for him. Uh, they're pretty, this vertical mount is pretty slim, so hopefully it shouldn't block the airflow too much on these bottom fans, but, but yeah, let's get that installed. Yeah, you probably saw that I was having a little bit of trouble getting this installed, because uh, these pipes are pretty tight here with the GPU, uh, but yeah, there's, there's slack on them, so I think we should be fine. And then we'll just plug the Lian Li streamer cables back in, and uh, then we should be all good to go. All right, guys, so final rundown on everything. Um, I forgot to film one or two things, so sorry about that, but I will explain them now. Um, we've got the Antec fans running along the bottom. They are a bottom intake. Uh, then we've got the Corsair LL120s at the side as an exhaust. We've got more Corsair LL120s at the top as intake. We've got the glass panel back on the front. Um, and then I forgot to mention, or I forgot to film it rather, but I've put LED strips, um, the ones that were included, one here and then one underneath there as well. Don't know if you guys can see that. So that should look pretty good. I've not had LED strips in a build before, so looking forward to seeing what they look like. But yeah, everything went smoothly. It took a little bit longer than I thought just because, like I said, all the cables and stuff, which is hard to get all of that on camera because it literally just takes ages. Uh, but yeah, that's all done now. So we'll get it all uh, Like all the panels put back on and then we'll shift it over to the desk and I'll show you guys what it looks like Moment of truth guys. Does it work? Let's find out three two one Do they work? Yes, they work. Look at that. That looks absolutely sick Nice. All right, cool. Oh the LED strips look amazing as well. Check that out guys That rainbow though and we've got one over here as well that looks so good. I don't know why the RAM's not lighting up. I think it's because it's um, it runs off the motherboard, which it takes a few minutes to boot, but that looks amazing. Um, I'll just log into Windows so that these fans sort themselves out and then we can have another look at it. And there we go. I've booted up Corsair Utility Engine so that all the fans are going RGB and I've got the RAM there as well. And the motherboard, it's like, this is this is one of the most RGB builds I've seen, guys. I may have to play about with the fan speeds a little bit because they sound a little bit noisy. But um, yeah, I can always do that in a, another video. But yeah, you'll have to let me know what you think, guys, down in the comments below. Uh, I'm pretty impressed with how it's turned out. I love the new LED strips. Like, that looks amazing, uh, especially with, like, the white uh, cooler as well. Yeah, really impressed with it. So let me know what you think in the comments, guys. If you enjoyed the video today, drop us a like rating. That would be appreciated. And subscribe if you're new, because I've got loads more stuff coming for you. I'll show you guys some B-roll in a moment, uh, but before I go, thanks again for watching today. Hope you all enjoyed. Hope you all stay safe, have a good week, and I'll catch you all in the next one.